Look, I might be broke, desperate, and nearly homeless, but I still got one thing deep down inside that gives me power. That was it. That was all I had. Hello again, whiskey tippers and spirit sippers. One one back at you, and we got another one today. Today we're going to be breaking out another version of Jameson, the Jameson Black Bear. Whiskey. Uh, pick this bad boy up at Costco. Uh, Tis the season, so we're kind of breaking out a couple extra Irish whiskeys. And I've uh, heard a lot about this one. I've never tasted it, so I am excited to break this one out. Well, I thought that was going to be a lot more painful. Let's hear it. Decent little pop. Let's get that pour. Uh, nice little golden color. Looks good. Looks sharp on the bottle. I gotta tell you, just sitting there up on the shelf, I was like, man, I really want to taste that. <laughs> so I like the display. I like the bottle. Hopefully the juice stands up. Oh, right out of the gate, you get a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that Irish biscuity smell, but it's a little, uh, it's a little tamped down with a little bit of the chard. Black barrel means it's charred and then it's double charred. So they burn the barrels and sometimes they reburn the barrels a second time. And supposedly that gives it much more of a spicy note and a lot more vanilla and caramels come out. So it brings a lot more flavors to it. So they call it bringing the barrel or bringing the wood back to life. So. We'll see if this juice gets any better. Uh, we just did the Jameson. Got a pretty decent review for what it is. One of the better value whiskeys I know about. And this one's not too bad either. This one is a, uh, it's a 40% ABV. So it's uh, 80 proof. And I believe I picked this one up at Costco for about $34.99, $35, $36, right in there. I think it was $34.99. So not too bad. Pretty good on the price. Let's see how the juice is. There's almost a little bit of a rye smell to this. I don't know if that's from the charred barrels and uh, if that's that spice kicking up, but there's almost a little bit of a rye spice smell to this. Not a little bit, there's a lot of rye spice. Uh, spices and oak. A little bit, almost almost a licorice smell to that black anise. Not the biggest rye fan, uh-oh. <laughs> Is it already turning in a bad direction? <laughs> We're gonna stay positive. But yeah, I get a real big rice, a uh, real big rice spice anise smell out of this. And that buttery biscuit is kind of, like I said, pushed to the back on this one. It's more of a charred smell. Lots of spices in there, though. Uh, I am excited to taste this out. Let it open up just a little bit. Uh, Jameson Black Barrel. Triple distilled Irish whiskey. Got St. Paddy's Day coming up, so figured why not keep it in the family and keep going Irish. I already love Irish whiskey, so why not? I just can't wait anymore. It's time to taste this. Slungeva. Well, thank goodness for me, there is a bit of a rice spice, but it's not like exploding huge prevalent. The first thing I noticed right when I tasted it is it was pretty thin. Like it felt just thin instantly right over your lips. But there is a bit of a long finish, like it's still going. There's definitely not an unpleasant taste, which I was really worried about. So the rye kind of kicks back to the back and you just kind of get some oak flavor, some spice, some cinnamon, God, maybe some clove. Boy, that smell though, the smell is just black licorice anise. But thank goodness for me, cause I don't really enjoy those <laughs> tastes. So it doesn't taste like that so much, but it's really there in the snap. A little bit of vanilla, a tiny bit of caramel, but Mainly just an oaky flavor. It's a lot of oak, a lot of that oak flavor and spices is the main thing I get out of this. Could be because it's a neck pour. Let's see uh, if the water opens anything up. Definitely not a bad flavor at all. I mean, it's not off-putting whatsoever. It's not as creamy and as smooth and like butterscotchy as uh, the regular Jameson is. It's more of that that charred oak flavor. But it's not overbearing oakiness like, you know, a bourbon that's been oaked for 20 years. It's a lot, a lot lighter than that. But you can just tell that, you know, the flavor, just a hint of that flavor in that direction. The water actually, I kind of thought it would bring out more, even more of those rice smells, but it actually tamped it down a little bit, which again, for me, is kind of nice. Right, it's bringing out a little more sweetness, a little more honey, a little more vanilla. Wow, the water seems to sweeten this up a little bit on the smell anyway. See how it is on the taste. Prost. Wow, it's kind of like a watered down version of everything. You kind of get those oak flavors, 
tiny bit of the rye, but then the caramel and the vanilla, and it's kind of all blended together, but watered down. Which, I mean, it's 40% it's 40 ABV, so I mean, what you don't really expect a whole lot of depth when you're getting Jameson, but this one's definitely got a different flavor profile. Like I said, it's not as light and creamy and butterscotchy as the original. It's more of a charred, spicy, more of a charred, spicy oak flavor on this one, which isn't bad at all. And if you're like that, you'll probably like this a whole lot better. Um, people that are really into bourbons probably like this a whole lot better. Um, I don't mind it. Do I love it? I don't hate it. <laughs> Let's see how it fares over ice. Let's get it. Jameson Black Barrel. Heard so many things, had no idea what to expect. Was I going to love it, hate it? I'm not super into the real oaky, oaky flavors, but uh, yeah, this one's not too bad. This one's uh, kind of exactly what you'd expect from a Jameson, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, a little bit watered down, a little bit thinner in flavor. The flavor's there, but just a little thinner. You know, I hate saying watered down, but just a little lighter than what you kind of hoped to maybe what it would be. But, you know, it's 40%. It's right there, 80 proof. What do you want? It's kind of like a sweet vanilla rice spice. Uh, smell on the ice. It's like a really light, sweet vanilla rice spice smell. That's interesting. It smells nice. And before it gets too watered down, let's see how it tastes over ice. Thrust. Just a nice, lightly oaked spice flavored water. <laughs> a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of, little bit of just oak flavor there on the back of the tongue, but. Watered down oak water, <laughs> oak spice water. The ice kind of kills this one. I mean, on a hot summer day, I mean, it wouldn't be bad at all. You'd just pound this. <laughs> dangerously good. It did go down dangerously easy. A little bit of vanilla, a little saltiness, a little oak tannin, a little bit of that charred kind of spiciness, but really, really just tamped down and relaxed. Yeah, this is just a real easy, nice everyday sipper. Um, for 35 bucks, I'm not mad at it. Scale of one to ten, I give it a good solid eight. I mean, there's absolutely nothing offensive about this. I mean, pour it in a glass; it's not too expensive. You're happy to share it with anybody. Let, let them put Sprite, Coke, whatever they want to it, and uh, yeah, enjoy your Jamesons. So yeah, part of the Jameson family. Um, like I said, eight out of ten. I probably actually like the original, which is you know you can find for nineteen ninety nine. So I mean, with the price and for what it is. I don't know, I need to spend a little more time with this. Like I said, this is just the neck pour. I'm just getting to know it. But uh, right out of the gate for the money, I might just stick with the regular Jamie. But if you want a little extra flavor and you want a little extra spice to it, right here, Jameson Black Fair. That's where it's at. So I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic week, and it just gets better from here. And until we see you next time, Slunchabout.